in their first SWAT game of the season. His work's going to be cut out for him this afternoon. We'll see what they can do inside the red zone. We talked about great position, and there he is, the touchdown pass. Corey Reed on the receiving end, and Jackson State is on the board first. One thing I like about Jackson State, they have big wide receivers, two six foot three inch wide receivers. If you find a one-on-one -on -one matchup, body them up, not afraid to take the contact and get to the end zone. Great job by Corey Reed. Downfield, you see how Jackson State, the white jerseys are crowding the box. They're surrounding it a little bit. You have to give them that threat that you're gonna run some type of stretch play outside, which is the strength of the running game for Grambling. Bunching it in, I think, favors Jackson State. You got to send somebody in motion to confuse them. Well, they decide to do that, and call. calling his own number is Jeremy Higbottom, and his first touchdown of the season. Grambling State's on the board. Great job by Higbottom. You pack the box in there, and then you just got to. Strong safety gone. JV and Adams for the remainder of the game. First and goal. Inside the one for Grambling State and another opportunity for the Tigers to capitalize here as Jeremy Hickbottom has already gotten off to a great start. The handoff to Elder and that was easy right up the gut. Grambling State does it again. You see Elder throwing up the hooks from Omega Sci-Fi. He's a Q. He's feeling good right now. I just give him some hard blocking up front, downhill running, and Keelian Elder in the end zone. What is it, Omega Sci-Fi Incorporated? Founded That's on the right. campus of Howard University, right? Jones staying alive. Moving around that pocket, back trotting, lets it go, finds an open man, and Kylan Ritchie, and what a play by Jalen Jones to keep that one alive, stay on his feet, and connect with Ritchie. Absolutely, because the protection was not there. But a good job of just extending the play with his legs, and then when he realizes he's not going to be able to run for the first down, look at the vision downfield to see the tight end, Kylan Ritchie, coming across the formation for the first down. And that's the spring season. Jones keeps it himself, swirling around and into the end zone. A new group of guys, much ballyhooed recruiting class that's coming in. They want guys to compete on an annual basis or a weekly basis. Jones spins it out of there. There's Dalen Baldwin. Baldwin with the Jets down the sideline and in for the score. Baldwin didn't get a chance to compete last season, sat out because of transfer rules. Came over from Morgan State, and you see the big wideout making a difference here. 64 yards for the touchdown. Coming down to Mississippi. Nice move by Tyson Alexander. Alexander. Moving aside into the end zone, slams it on in. Alexander. First rushing touchdown of the season for Tyson Alexander. Talk about things that you can learn from this game and what you're going to work on in practice and certainly getting the snap count right and trying to alleviate some of those misses and into the end zone and right into the hands of D.J. Clark. Go get him, son. Great call by the back judge. And a huge one in favor of the Tigers and it's Elder to punch it in. Just like that, folks, were tied up, but another penalty marker is on the field. That's, that's going to be a, after the touchdown. He spiked the ball. Get him for the celebration. 
he made a linebacker miss in a small space. The play on the outside, and that's Warren Newman, and Newman is in! I said, get the ball to the athletes. <laughs> get the ball to the athletes. And it was really complimented by the running game of Tyson Alexander. But we know what Warren Newman can do when he gets the football space. I mean, he's on the short side of the field. Watch him just weave through <laughs> untouched into the end zone. Man, he can do it. It's scrambling state. Good call, Under a minute from State. doing so. Yep. Grambling State has to spin their third and final timeout. And a couple of fumbles at the one yard line on both sides. The story of this game late if you're just tuning in. I mean, this one here, just when it seemed like Jackson State was going to have an opportunity to go up by two scores, they fumble going in and then. But it seems like Grambling is going to score to go up with less than two minutes to go in the game. Another fumble, and what a football game. Yes. In his first conference win, Coach Prime has put the swag on notice that Jackson State is back, and they're coming for everybody. Tigers letting them know. They can play in prime time. First win for Jackson State since 2012, snapping Grambling State's 16-game home win streak. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.